today I'm going to be talking about the manga series Love Me, Love Me Not. I'm mostly just going to deal with the volume one because I don't want to give away too many spoilers for the overall series. Um, this is being published by Viz Media, their shoujo beat line, and it is written by Io Saki Saka. So she does both the story and the artwork. Um, and I love it so far. I'm loving this series. I've read volumes one through three so far. I just got in volumes four and five. I do hope to read them as soon as possible because I got to see what happens next. Um, this is a really soft um, shoujo relationship fiction story. Um, and I don't know, I find that kind of story so enthralling and engaging. So this story starts off uh, introducing us to Yuna over here. Um, and in the beginning of the story, Yuna has to say goodbye to her best friend, Sachan. She's moving away. And so uh, Yuna's a little bit depressed about this and she goes to say goodbye to Sachan. And when she leaves, she runs into this handsome boy um, who warns her not to step in poop that's on the road. It's a really awkward uh, meeting. Uh, and so she's like, oh, yeah, thanks or whatever. I don't, I don't remember if she even says anything. She's very awkward. And she ends up leaving and she runs into uh, this girl at a station who's around her age. And the girl asks her to borrow some money because she wants to head off and see a friend of hers. And um, I don't know, Yuna's just the kind of person who I think she heard the whole thing about seeing a friend and she was thinking about Sachan. So she says, yes. So they do kind of a switch where she um, puts the girl's bracelet on and the girl has the money. That way she'll pay her back. And then she goes to say, Yuna goes to say goodbye to Sachan. And, you know, after that, she's very depressed. But she does run into both the girl and the handsome boy again um, around the convenience store. Um, the, <laughs> the girl does introduce herself as Akari and they sort of strike up a gentle friendship um, fairly immediately. Um, Akari thinks that um, Yuna seems like a very nice person and um, Yuna is just impressed by Akari. She thinks she's, you know, a beautiful girl who just seems like put together. And this, by the way, is Akari. Um, and you just sort of, you, you see them striking up this friendship, which really, uh, Yuna needs because she did just lose her pretty much only friend, not necessarily her only friend, as uh, we discover later. Um, so the two girls go to hang out. I can't remember. I think they go to Yuna's house because it turns out that they live in the same building. Now, how they don't know each other, I don't remember. I don't know, remember if it says, like, did, did Akari's family just move? I don't know. But anyway, they didn't realize they lived in the same building. So while they're hanging out, uh, they start discussing like love and falling in love and whatever love means, because whatever, that's what they did. And I think it just has to do with that part of Akari's story. She was currently seeing somebody. And as they're talking, this uh, other handsome boy appears and Yuna doesn't seem to have any problem talking to him. Turns out his uh, name is Kazuomi and <laughs> Akari's like, he didn't seem to have any problem talking to that boy and Yuna's just like oh him that's Kazu we grew up together he's <laughs> he's like a sibling to me um and Akari immediately thinks like I wish that Yuna would fall in love with Kazu um because he seems like a nice guy it seems like they'd be good to each other um but it's kind of a no-go like it's that's just not uh that's not what Yuna wants so after Yuna has been hanging out with Akari um, and talking about this handsome boy that she saw that reminded her of a prince from a storybook, um, they go to school together and uh, Yuna points the boy out and it turns out that that is Akari's brother, Ryo. And Akari is kind of like, oh, I don't, I don't know that you should try to pursue anything there. Rio is a little bit different. He's kind of hard to handle. Um, and <laughs> it just sets up this whole weird dynamic. And so when Yuna finds out that uh, Kari and Rio are siblings, she's kind of like, oh, 
Well, thank goodness, because, you know, Akari's so great, and I wouldn't want, like, there to be this weird thing with this boy. Um, but, but it gets a little twistier after that. So, um, there's, there's a bunch of little things that, that happen in the volume, and I don't want to get, you know, give away everything that occurs. Um, but you do see, like, this friendship developing between each of the characters. Yuna even starts to get more comfortable with Rio and talking to Rio and really gently falling in love with Rio. Um, the more that she interacts with him, the more that she likes him and she wants to know more about him. Um, but at the same time, she knows that he rejects a lot of girls and he already kind of said at the beginning that he was glad she didn't confess to him or wasn't he had gotten a confession thing and she was there and he was like hey did you give me this and she's like no <laughs> and he's like oh good because I wouldn't have wanted to have to you know uh, turn you away and when she hears that you know it it kind of already sets her up for well I can't confess to this guy because I know that he's going to reject me um, and so you always hear that dialogue in the back of her mind whenever she's talking to Rio because she is slowly kind of falling for him as they form a friendship um, but at the same time she's always like but it's not going to go anywhere I can't tell him because I know I'm going to be rejected um, and you also discover through their interactions that um, not that Rio doesn't date but it usually doesn't last and part of this is because he fell for somebody that he couldn't confess to and that person still holds a place in his heart probably because he can't just confess it and get it over with um he really can't move on he's stuck there and so really it's kind of sad because Rio and Yuna are bonding over commiserating over this love that they can't confess about um <laughs> it's just weird because the more they talk about this the more like Yuna falls for Rio but you know the more she also thinks oh, well it can't ever happen um, <laughs> and you do see uh, Kazuomi in the background but Kazuomi is kind of developing this flirty friendship with Akari um, and poor Akari was dating somebody who broke her heart so that's kind of how she forms this friendship with Kazuomi um, and it also helps to strengthen her friendship with Yuna um, and it's just so cute and it's great and, and seeing their interactions and just their relationships blossoming is is so cute um, but it all builds up and culminates in this crazy ending for volume one where um, Yuna, Akari, and Ryo are having a study session at Akari's place uh, well Akari and Rio's place because they live in the same house and um, I think they're in Rio's bedroom and they're, they're doing their study thing and talking and Akari says I'm gonna run and get some snacks uh, at the convenience store I'll be back in a minute so Rio and uh, Yuna are talking and suddenly the mom comes into the room and she's like Akari, are you in here? And uh, Rio is like, uh, Mom, this is Yuna. She lives in the building and we're studying. And she's like, I, I heard voices in here and I thought Akari was in here. And you're kind of like, why is this mom kind of off the handle? And Akari comes back and she starts fighting with her mom. And she's like, mom do you know how hard you make this for everyone and we have to walk on like eggshells and can you stop doing this and and the big reveal because you're sitting there like what what is going on and you you know something's happening and it's going to be a big reveal and the big reveal is of course that uh akari and rio are not blood related siblings they are step siblings their parents got married and now they have to live together but her mom is afraid because here's these two teenagers around the same age that are not blood related living in the same house so she's always worried something not so great is going to happen between the two of them and um, immediately the end of volume one is Yuna suddenly thinking oh my gosh 
is Akari the one that Ryo is in love with? Because he has literally said that he cannot confess to this person that his love had to die before it could even blossom. And, and yeah, there's big hints there. Oh, he is in love with Akari, who is now his sister. And yeah, woohoo, volume one. So it was the big, the big setup. Um, once you get that all that out there in volume one, the stage is now set. You have the four main characters. You know they're going to interact. You know people are going to fall in love. You know people are going to get hurt. Uh, hopefully things all work out by the end. I don't know because it's not over. I will say volume two and three are great. They really push the story along. Um, things do happen. Some confessions are made. Other feelings are happening, but who is going to end up with who? How are the relationships going to work out? I have no idea. Um, one, because it's not over yet. So, <laughs> um, it seems like a lot happens in this volume. That's because it does, because it's the main setup for the story. Um, from here on out, you have to figure out like what's going to happen. How are they going to relate to one another? How are the relationships going to develop? There are backstories that need to be told and, you know, find out why the characters are the way that they are. How did they move here? How do they interact? Um, and what is everybody's feelings toward one another? Um, obviously, we know a lot more at this point about Yuna because she was the main character for Volume 1. A lot of the story is told from her perspective. Um, but yeah, it's great. If you love relationship fiction and shoujo manga in general, um, you should pick up Love Me, Love Me Not. You should pick up any work by Iyosaki Saka because she's really brilliant at relationships and um just beautiful art I, I hope you can see this artwork um yeah and again the story continues there's five volumes now there's two and three they are available now i think that is all that i want to say for this video but you should definitely check out these books until next time bye